obviously only a few days away from your fight against Dom. Uh, I'm curious, what are the emotions leading into this fight inside arguably the most famous arena in the world? Emotions? I don't know. I really hadn't really thought about it. I mean, it's cool. It's just another fight to me. I don't care. And then when they approached you with Dom, did it really matter who you were, who who you who they had come with you? Would you have said yes to anyone at all, or was is Dom specifically interest you? Hey, look, man, I'm not the shooter. I'm the bullet. <laughs> it don't matter. Looking at your record, uh, obviously, people, and when they show the highlights, they show your knockouts and they show your power in there, but you have a lot of submission wins. Do you think that we're not talking enough about your grappling skills? Um, man, look, I don't, it, it doesn't matter. Like, as long as you're talking about me winning, that's all that matters to me. You know, that, that's two, three checks for me. That, that's, that's what I do it for. What is the uh, what is the vibe been in camp uh, lately? Because especially your, with your ride coming off his big win and his boxing debut, efficiency. We just wanted to be efficient this time. Like I did everything I needed to do, and I did everything the right way, the way I needed to do. Spent time with my strength and conditioning coach, like I wanted to. Um, got my nutritionist. Like we just all been on the same page and clicking on all cylinders. So the the vibe, so to speak, has been good. And finally, I've been asking all, all of the fighters, this might, this might be Frank Edgar's last fight of his MMA career. I'm curious, were you a fan of him coming up, and do you have any memories of Frank Edgar's fights from past? Um, I can't. I, I've watched them. I can't say that I was really a fan of anybody other than Anderson, to be honest with you. Um, well, Benson Henderson at, at one point. And I, I, if I'm not, did they fight? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Twice. Yeah, twice. Um, so I, I I I think it's cool that he gets to fight close to home and is is his last one and they're giving him the shine that he needs. So I think that's dope. Ryan over here in the middle. You're uh, kind of off to the right, not that's this, yeah, this sorry. The middle. <laughs> You're right good. Middle, <laughs> uh, what's your what's your thoughts on your opponent, Dominic Reyes? Listen, like I said, I'm not the shooter. I'm the bullet. I don't have none. I don't care. Be whoever. Over here, Ryan. At uh, at what point did you feel like you really locked in? Was it during camp? Was it recently during this week? Was it when you came into New York City? Um, something happened in my last fight that that kind of flipped the switch for me. Like right in the middle of it, and I realized I was like, "Oh shit, I'm about to be world champion," and we've been going ever since. So you've been around the UFC for a little while. Dom's been here for a little bit, right over here. Yeah. Have you and Dom ever crossed paths before or had any type of personal interactions or anything? Hold up, hold up. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I don't, I, I struggle with people talking to me. That, no, no, I see you. I see you. You're good. I saw you when you first started talking. But I have a problem. Can, can I get some names? Like, that would be nice. That I that kind of like, you know, not generalize it. Because I hate doing this. And the reason why I hate it is because I hate people talking to me that I don't know who they are. So, let me, can I get a name? My name's Stan the Man from The Menace and the Man. Hey, there you go. All right. Now, uh, what's your question again? Have you and Dom ever crossed paths before? Had any, like, personal interactions or handshakes, you know, dinners? No, actually, uh, we ran into each other in the elevator, like, last night. Other than that, no. Uh, do you watch tape on your opponents, or is that your coach's job? No, I don't do that. So you're pretty much going into this with just Hey, look, they, they, they point me and shoot, and I go get them. Did your coaches have you adjust any of your training specifically for Dom? Um, more so we focused on where I focused on me. They, um, they've watched a lot of film, you know, but to me that doesn't matter. I don't, I don't really care. I make my adjustments that I need to make because who knows, you know. I don't, I don't know who's going to show up in there, so – we're going to see. So you're from Texas originally? No, Tennessee. Tennessee. Memphis. Train in Texas? Yeah. Uh, have you ever been to New York before? I uh, have not. So first time, are you doing touristy things, or are you just focused on the fight right now? I ain't going to lie, man. Ten minutes after I got here, I didn't want to come back no more. So <laughs> <laughs> I, t I talked to my kids, and they want to come back, so I'm, I'll do the touristy shit then. But right now, it's, it's about business. Hey, understandable. I live here. I don't really like it that much either. Yeah, I, 
There you go. Good luck on Saturday. Ryan, Thank you. Ryan, Ryan right here, one more. Uh, Jose, by the way. Jose. Uh, when you say you wanted to leave after 10 minutes, was that just because of just all the chaos that comes with New York City? Man, it took us like an hour or something to get here from the airport. And apparently it was supposed to be like a 20-some minute drive. Like, that's not what's up. Like, who does that, man? It's worse than Dallas traffic. And fuck that. It's not quite as bad as L.A., though. See, I, I don't plan on going there anytime soon. Either. Uh, one, one more over here, Ryan. My name's Tim, by the way. Nice to meet you. What's up, uh, Tim? Do you feel like the same, um, I don't know if it's an anxiety when you're, you know, because obviously when you're in front of the crowd, everyone's eyes are just on you, or are you just lost in, in the fight and you could care less? Man, I'm made for this shit. Like, it, it, it doesn't matter. Like, I, they can pay me what they pay me. I'll fight in my backyard. I really don't care. Like, either you're watching or you're not. You know, my brother always said there's two types of people watching, the people you know watching and the people you don't know watching. So, I don't care. I'm here, Dave. Um, you mentioned you ran in the Dominic in the uh, elevator yesterday. How did that interaction go? Yeah, nothing really. It just what's up? All right, cool. And you know, me and my brother had just watched some scammers on the street, so we was talking about that. Okay. Yep. Oh, nice. Right. Appreciate it.